know, briefs came outside the windows. There was just no way for us to get around it. A South Padre Island restaurant picking up the pieces tonight after an early morning fire. Hello and welcome to CBS 4 Valley at 6. I'm Chris Jacobs. And I'm Faith Woodard. We are following developing news after another fire has left a valley treasure in ashes. Tonight, flames destroyed Pier 19 on South Padre Island. Take a look at what's left. Firefighters tell us they got the call just after 1 this morning. Officials say the flames burst through windows, making it hard to tame. Several agencies responded to the fire, including Los Fresnos, Laguna Madre, Port Isabel, and the Coast Guard. There was no injuries reported. Uh, one of the boat captains had a laceration to his hand, uh, but, but that was minor. There was no transports to the hospital. Uh, we were, were told that there was people possibly inside the building. Now, two boats were docked by the restaurant, but firefighters were able to find the captains and get them away safely. Officials are still working to learn what started the fire. The owner of the restaurant can't believe it's now just a pile of ashes. Continuing our coverage tonight is CBS 4's Marco Ramirez. He joins us live with reaction and history behind the well-known restaurant, Marco. Well, Chris and Faith, the owner tells me Pier 19 was actually a fishing pier before becoming a restaurant. As you can see behind me, the fire is actually reignited at this hour, and people who came to this popular restaurant say they are devastated. Walked down to about where the tape is and could see that Pier 19 was on fire. Rob Goff and his wife Pam live in the RV park right next door to Pier 19 and saw their beloved restaurant go up in flames. But it wasn't just the building they were devastated about. But I'll tell you, the second thing I really thought about is how many people worked there and didn't have a place to go to work today. That's that's another sad part that's of it. That's a tragedy. Really is, yeah. That's a tragedy. Because that's going to hurt that's... some families. Owner Scott Freeman says before becoming a restaurant in 2007, the facility was a fishing pier in the early 1990s. Despite this loss, Freeman says the community has shown up to help. Uh, we've been fortunate uh, to have a lot of friends that we've made through the years. We've enjoyed their business. We appreciate and it's, it's very, very noticeable at a time like this how much and well appreciated this business was. Since the building was itself built in the 1950s, officials say that played a big role in the fire spreading so fast. And while the cause has not been determined, Freeman says his biggest priority is his staff. Well, our first hope is for the first, uh, foremost, the displaced staff members that have lost their jobs, uh, affects them economically. Uh, financially, we're a big concern for them and how they're going to create a new future going forward. And even though scorched debris remains, there is still hope the restaurant will be rebuilt. Of course, that would be our ultimate goal and dream, but we'll just have to take every day as they come. We'll be back South Padre Island. And we actually may eat there a little more frequently next time. Just, just to appreciate and, yeah. and tip And tip <laughs> a little better. <laughs> And Freeman says he's also grateful no one was hurt here. And we're also still working to get more information on the status of this fire. Working for you on South Padre Island tonight, I'm Marco Ramirez.